So my name is Alexandria. I am 28 years old and um, I have a son who is eight. I enjoy doing um, creative things like painting and um, drawing, anything I can create with my hands, I'm good at. I also enjoy like helping people. I enjoy um, being able to, to comfort somebody when they you know need somebody to talk to or whatever. I'm normally that person that people come to. I was home alone. I'm an IV user, so I was doing a shot in my bathroom. Didn't think about, um, they had upped my methadone dose that day, so I took too much heroin. With methadone also being an opiate, I didn't think about that. I was really naive, and I had done probably about two, two points of a gram, and I ended up passing out like um, in my bathroom. One of my good friends, he was having trouble at home and so he, I'd leave my window unlocked and he'd climb through if he needed a place to go if I wasn't home. Well, the window was unlocked and he luckily climbed through and he found me in the bathroom and we didn't have Narcan at the time. So he just tried, you know, reviving me and he put me in the shower and put cold water on me. One thing that he did do too was he gave me a shot of methamphetamine, which was almost like, kind of like adrenaline almost. like. And I just woke up to him slapping me in the face, like, wake up, wake up. And my limbs were really heavy and even like my eyelids were just extremely heavy. I, it was hard for me to keep them like open and just to stay alert. If Narcan was available, I think it would have been a lot less scary for both of us, you know? Would have just been reassuring to know like, hey, this is a drug that helps, you know, prevent me from dying, basically. And I feel like now it's, it's nice that there are places that educate people on that and let you know that it's not scary. You don't have to be afraid if that happens to call 911 and call an ambulance that would save your life. The needle exchange here has helped me with my um, recovery. Just, you know, um, I've been through some pretty traumatic stuff in the past couple years and it's been kind of hard for me to get sober and I don't have a lot of support system, but the people that work here have been really awesome. I had a stranger telling me that they were proud of me, but that felt so good to even have them, you know, notice that it is an accomplishment. Like, even if I just showed up to, you know, my appointment. Kind of, I'm the type of person that I don't regret anything. Like, everything happens for a reason, I think, and that definitely happened to me for a reason to, you know, you respect your life a lot, but like, in a different way after something like that happens.